It's really easy to contain yourself in your own little bubble. You have yourself, your family, your friends, and if you're lucky, often locked doors to hide behind. In your own world, away from the evils that lurk outside. But what happens when evil walks to your front doorstep, where the only thing stopping a life-changing moment is you and a wooden door? Luckily, camera manufacturers such as Ring have created added measures to ensure that these evils stay outside. With real-time footage at your front door, you're able to see exactly who is there and why not every knock should be answered. Because I'm a neighbor in Canada. Let's dive into the dark world of Ring doorbell footage. From creepy visitors to unwelcome criminals and even the fear of the unknown that would come from simply answering your door. I'm Pixels After Dark and let's explore the unnerving horrors caught on Ring doorbell camps. On December 27th of 2020, just a few days after the holidays, an older woman approached the front doorsteps of a house she never visited before. In the aftermath of a rainstorm, while still holding her umbrella, the woman just stares at the door with her mouth wide open. She does this for about 30 seconds, just standing still and swaying from side to side. before leaving the doorstep and never returning. It's clear that this woman isn't well, and I truly hope that she found her way to safety by the end of the night. While this certainly is a terrifying sight to witness through a doorbell camera, the woman seemed to pose no immediate threat. The same, however, cannot be said about this elderly woman who visited this ring user's doorstep, wielding a sharp knife by their front door. She takes a minute, pacing back and forth before pressing the doorbell. She spends the moments waiting, rocking back and forth while repeatedly looking at her surroundings. Most users theorize that this woman was suffering from dementia and she was likely just confused and scared. However, even with her reasoning being justified by such an impactful disease, who knows what may have happened if the door was answered. I think I speak for everyone when I say we're all lucky that that scenario is left unknown. The following footage was captured on December 31st of 2021 in Smithtown, New York. A man in a hoodie can be found stealing a ring doorbell camera. It was later retrieved and found to be the man's own neighbor living right across the hall. Two weeks later, on January 15th, the man can be seen approaching the doorbell camera once more in nothing but jeans, asking for peace between neighbors. What do you want? Peace. Rightfully so, the owner of the doorbell camera politely declined, stating that he cannot forgive a seemingly random act of theft. Too late for that. What? Too late for that. Too late. When you stole from me, you started your own war. Too late for that. So it's too late for peace? You had a chance of peace. You had that night, you could have made peace by bringing my shit back you stole. When you stole from me, you started your own war. So we are at war, according to you? After this comment, however, the man stops replying. I think even he soon realized that there's nothing to gain by waging war with the man who's clearly not well. War to the doorbell cam owner might just be calling the police. War to this man, who knows? The man then returns back to his apartment. However, this interaction has only just begun. Not long after the man's return to the door, you can hear the theme of the Lion King, the circle of life, begin to play from the man's room. He comes out, rings the doorbell once again, and gives another attempt at a peace offering. I guess that means you're, you're hearing this? You, you speak. Okay, so there's wine, cheese, and crackers across the hall if you're interested. After again declining, this very persistent neighbor has one more trick up his sleeve. He emerges once more with a sheet over his head, only to smear a sticky substance on the camera, blinding any view. I'm not sure if this was a ploy for a later scheme that he had in mind, but it wasn't long before the police were called and they arrested the man. 
you really never know who might just live right down the hall. Sometimes it's not what we see that's so disturbing, but instead what could happen. In 2019, a man in Bristol can be seen approaching a door in a strange looking mask. He waits a few seconds, proceeds to wipe his fingerprints from the door handle, and leaves. I want to believe that this occurred because the man is likely an existing felon, wiping his prints as they're already in the police system. However, something else that concerned me even more is what's in his front pocket. You can't tell, but there's something heavy weighing down his sweater. While this could be just a phone or a wallet, I can't help but wonder if it's a weapon maybe a gun or a blunt object like a hammer, that he intended to use on the unknowing homeowner who may have answered the door. Luckily, the owner can go on living another day, forever looking at this footage, being thankful that he never answered this door. What you are about to see is probably the most disturbing piece of footage that I have ever seen on a doorbell camera. Honestly, you've likely already seen it given its mass popularity and coverage. But if you haven't, strap yourself in and prepare to watch what happens when some of the most deranged members of society come knocking at your front door. On July 21st of 2021, a woman named Amanda would take to Facebook to report a man who arrived at her door while she was home alone. She claims she has never seen this man before in her life and could not believe what she heard. Take a look. I just rang your doorbell because I have a couple of questions. Are you sure? I, 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 what? Are you sure? I just rang your doorbell because I have a couple questions for you. Are you sure? Are you positive? Are you sure? The man continues to repeat the words, are you sure and are you positive while continuing to knock on the door. The woman then called her husband who was able to chat with the man through the speaker on the ring doorbell camera. Just as the man begins to walk away, the husband gets on the microphone asking, why is he here? Who are you? Hey, I just had a couple questions. I just wanted to ask you about uh, maybe two Yeah, can you hear me? Uh, what I'm looking for is for the girl that's in the house to come out here because I'm going to rape her and kill her. Do you have her open the door? This is when things take a much darker turn. It's so unreal because the man says exactly what we're all thinking. It's incredibly disturbing, but it's not hard to connect the dots on what might happen if this woman were to answer this door. However, although somewhat expected, hearing the man say with no hesitation that he plans to rape and kill the woman on the other side of this door is one of the most disturbing things I have ever seen on a door cam footage. The man turned out to be Christopher Sums, who was later arrested the next day for aggravated stalking and attempted burglary. The final piece of footage we have of him is him walking away, still saying the same phrases we heard at the front door. Watch as two men immediately notice the doorbell camera and attempt to get out of the field of view. You can clearly see the back end of a weapon sticking out of one of the man's pockets. After knocking, he pulls out the weapon and arms himself for the answer. CPD, open up. We need to ask you a couple questions. The man attempts to disguise himself as a member of CPD, the Columbus, Ohio Police Department, to entice the owner to answer the door. The homeowner eventually speaks to the doorbell speaker and asks the men to show some identification, to which they obviously decline. CPD, we need to ask you a couple questions. I'm sorry? CPD, we need to ask you a couple questions. May you please step to the front door, please? Can I see a badge? We would like you to step to the door, please, sir. I don't have to show you my badge, sir. Clearly, no police officer would show up to a door in a Rugrats hoodie and a mask, so I assume they had some confidence they couldn't be seen by the doorbell camera. Okay, give me a second. The man then tells him to wait a moment, and he never answers the door. 
I assume he likely called the police and told them just to hang on for one second in the hopes the police would get there before they leave. After about two minutes of waiting, however, the men seemed to catch on that he wasn't answering the door and proceeded to leave the frame, potentially to another house in the neighborhood. Luckily, this man was fortunate enough that these men weren't disguised. They clearly weren't police officers. But let's see what happens when the disguises get a little more believable. In East London, a man posing as a delivery driver knocks on the front door of a family's house. Before giving the package, the delivery man says that he must take a picture of the package in front of the house first. He takes the photo, and as the man begins to reach down for the package, the delivery driver storms the house and gets support from three other criminals hiding out of sight. From here, the rest of the footage consists of the chilling screams coming from the family inside the home. This, in all honesty, is the worst type of horror to me. You can't see what's going on, you can only hear it, and it's up to your imagination to play what's going on inside. I won't show all the audio, however, as this gets very disturbing. This is because inside, the man who answered the door was slashed across the head by a knife, and their 11-year-old son who was playing computer games got shot in the shoulder by a gun. You can only imagine the disturbing wails of the parents after this occurred. The men eventually leave and a blood-covered father runs outside and calls for help. A man pulls over and the police were called. Luckily, all victims of the robbery survived. Anthony Lascales was jailed for 23 years, Christopher Sergeant was jailed for 20 years, and AJ Singh was jailed for 25 years. The family were later moved from their home as returning after the incident left the family in a constant state of PTSD and fear of unsafety behind the own walls of their house. Another example of a disguise attack comes from Montgomery County, where a woman posed as a food delivery driver. This may seem innocent enough, many delivery drivers often get the wrong address and show up at the wrong home. However, take a look at the footage from the backyard camera. A group of men in white hoodies can be seen running through the backyard. They were scoping out the property to see if there was any way to access the home, likely for a robbery. Although it's creepy enough to see a bunch of hooded men running through your backyard, I mentioned this footage for another reason. Check out this clip captured by an indoor ring camera. A group of teenage children were left alone while the parents were away for a few days. Unfortunately, multiple home intruders entered the home armed with weapons and forced the children to lay on the ground as they searched the home for valuables. The father ends up seeing the footage and calls the police. Hey, who's at my house? I got you on camera. The cops are on the way. The cops are on their way. My neighbors, my neighbors are there. They're, they're calling the cops right now. I really can't imagine being the father in this scenario. You're so far away, yet so close to seeing your children's final moments from death, unable to do anything about it. Luckily, nobody was hurt. However, I did notice that these intruders shared the same stature as those seen running through the backyard in the previous clip. They're also wearing very similar outfits, and get this, both incidents occurred in Texas. The location of these two events were about 60 miles apart, making it unlikely that these two cases are related. However, it is odd to see such similar criminals looking to invade houses in the middle of the night, both in Texas. On October 2nd of 2022, at 5 a.m., three men in masks approach a doorstep, each armed with a firearm. They place their hands over the door camera to avoid any additional characteristics being picked up for investigation. Luckily, no one answered, and they soon left. On April 29th, a woman approached the front doors of a home at 4.30 in the morning, clearly scared and desperate. She stays low and seems to be hiding from something. <laughs> Later in the video, you can see the headlights from a car in the distance, and the woman frantically hides behind the pillar next to the front doorstep. It really seems like that somebody was chasing after this woman, 
whether it be a domestic dispute or an escaped kidnapping. She stays hiding for a while and attempts to knock on the door once more. After this, she begins to leave and we can see the headlights of another car just out of the frame of view from the camera. We can only see the woman for a few frames, but to me it appears as if she's running towards the car. Likely, this car wasn't somebody chasing after the woman, and she went to the car seeking help. This incident took place only two weeks before the upload of this video. No other information has been found, and I can only hope that those headlights were one of safety and not of danger. This is another example of a potentially disturbing incident caught on a nearby ring door cam. Close to midnight in Los Angeles, you can hear the screams of a woman coming from a vehicle down the street. The more you listen, the worse it gets. The car then speeds off and the footage ends. This clip becomes incredibly disturbing when you realize that nothing came out of this investigation. The car was never located and all individuals involved in the incident were never identified. While we all want to hope the best in this situation, there is no way of knowing how this concluded and what happened to the poor woman stuck in the car on that tragic night. You'll find that this video is slightly different than the rest on this list. A man and his dog walk outside onto the patio when a small bear quickly hops the fence and attacks the dog. Without hesitation, the man jumps on the bear, pushes him out, and uses the bench to restrict the bear of entry. The dogs were not harmed and the man only suffered minimal injuries. Luckily. I included this in this list as bear attacks can be some of the most gruesome and painful deaths to endure. The grizzly bear grabbed Lee Brook from behind pulled him off the ground and then rode on his back down a slope, crushing the left side of his body. It also bit off much of his face. As Brooke lay bleeding, unaware of the extent of his injuries, he could look over and see his nose and mustache on the ground. These are the words describing a bear attack on survivor Lee Brooke, who lived to tell the tale. Knowing this, the man featured in this video should be thankful every night that this bear encounter didn't end the way that many others have gone in the past. While this isn't a Ring doorbell camera, I found something incredibly unsettling regarding a Ring security camera found in a little girl's bedroom late one night. The security camera was hacked and began to play the song most known from Insidious, Through the Tulips. The little girl wakes up and a voice begins to talk to the girl. To me, it honestly sounds like a teenage boy who figured out how to hack these security cameras and was just trolling. While this is still no excuse for this unacceptable behavior, it didn't seem like it was anything more than this. The boy begins to tell the girl that he is Santa Claus and to go to her mother and say the n-word. Go tell mommy you're in. Who is I'm your best friend. You can do whatever you want right now. You can mess up your room, you can break your TV, you can do whatever you want. I'm Santa Claus! This was essentially the extent of it, and while it's still unsettling to know that this could happen in your own home, what makes me most unnerved is what could have happened that we are unaware about. How often was the security camera breached, and how long was the man watching? This is an 8 year old girl. An 8 year old girl. Just the thought of somebody watching an 8 year old when she's alone in her bedroom is enough to make me sick. What makes me the most disturbed is how often does this happen and how often does it go unnoticed? This probably would have gone undiscovered if the guy didn't end up talking over the speaker. We hear about all the justice and people who get caught, but who knows how many intruders are out there watching you in your most private and unsuspecting moments. This has been the unnerving horrors caught on ring doorbell cameras. Thank you for watching.